Once upon a time, there was a very wise man who served as the mayor of a small village. He was highly respected, and his advice was sought by many. His opinions were valued, and people often turned to him for guidance. However, his son was quite the opposite, lazy, careless, and constantly wasting time with his friends or sleeping. Despite the wise man's many attempts to guide him, no advice or warning seemed to have any effect, and his son remained unchanged. As the years passed, the wise man grew older, and his concern for his son's future deepened. He realized he needed to do something to ensure his son could take care of himself and his family when the time came. So, one day, the wise man called his son to him. My son, he said, you are no longer a child. It's time for you to take responsibility and understand what life is all about. I want you to discover your life's true purpose, and once you find it, hold on to it. It will bring you endless happiness and joy. With that, he handed his son a bag. When the young man opened it, he found four sets of clothes. One for each season, along with some raw food, grains, lentils, a small amount of money, and a map. The wise man then explained, I want you to go on a quest to find a hidden treasure. I have drawn a map that shows where the treasure is buried, you must find it. Excited by the idea, the son eagerly embraced the challenge. For the first time, he felt his father had given him something worthwhile to do. The very next day, he embarked on the journey with great enthusiasm. He traveled far, crossing borders, forests, plateaus, and mountains. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. Along the way, he encountered various people some who offered food and shelter, and others who tried to rope or deceive him. He experienced the kindness and cruelty of humanity, learning much from both. As the season shifted, so did the landscapes around him. When the weather was hot, he would pause his journey, waiting for better conditions before moving forward. After nearly a year, he finally reached his destination, a cliff with a tree marked on the map. He eagerly began digging around the tree searching high and low for the treasure. For two days, he dug tirelessly, 
but no treasure was to be found. Exhausted and disheartened, he gave up and prepared to return home, feeling disappointed and confused by his father's task. On the journey back, he retraced his steps through the same changing landscapes and seasons. This type, however, he allowed himself to enjoy the beauty around him. The blooming flowers of spring, the birds singing in the rain, the sunsets that painted the sky in vibrant colors and the peaceful summer nights. Since his supplies had run out, he learned to hunt for food, so his clothes and belt shelter. He even learned to tell time by the position of the sun and protect himself from wild animals. He encountered the same people who had helped him before. But this time he stayed longer to repay their kindness. He helped them in various ways, realizing how selflessly they had supported a stranger with nothing to offer in return. When he finally returned home after two years, he went straight to his father's room. Father, he said, the journey was incredible, but I have failed. I couldn't find the treasure. Perhaps someone else discovered it before me. To his surprise, he felt no anger or frustration. Instead, he was apologizing to his father for not fulfilling the task. The wise man smiled and embraced his son. There was no treasure, my son, he said calmly. But why did you send me on this quest then? The son asked, puzzled. I will explain. But first, tell me about your journey. Did you enjoy it? At first, no, the son replied. I was too focused on reaching the treasure, worried that someone else might find it before I did. But on my way back, I began to enjoy the experience. I made friends, learned new skills, and discovered the beauty of survival. The journey itself was full of wonder. Exactly, my son, the father said with a smile. I wanted you to sit out with a goal, but I also wanted you to understand that life's true treasures are not found in the destination but in the journey itself, life has no ultimate goal other than to experience it fully, to grow and learn from everything it offers. The purpose of life is to live it, to embrace every moment and to seek new experiences with eagerness and without fear. The son nodded, understanding the lesson his father had imparted. He had found something far more valuable than the treasure he had sought.